In case you haven't seen the first video about the Illumicon, this drawing machine works by using a motorized turntable and sets of gears to move a miniature light in complex patterns. These patterns are recorded by a camera positioned above the machine with its shutter locked open to produce images like this. All drawing machines, whether they're simple spiral graphs or the more complex Illumicon here, work in pretty much the same way. They make the uh, a pen, or in this case a light, move in a fairly simple pattern, but that this pattern is repeated and is moved around to create a more complex design. I thought it would be interesting to look at some of these fundamental or basic patterns and see how through repetition they create the more complex final image. For example, let's start with this one. This is a 74 tooth gear being driven directly off a 150 tooth outer gear and it produces simple ellipses which look like this. By itself this may not look too impressive but repeat it 72 times and rotate it around the center and it becomes this simple but attractive cycloid pattern. Next let's look at something a little more complicated. Here we have a drive pin on a 36 toothed gear, a fixed slider, and the light is on the arm. Let's see what this produces. You can probably guess that by reproducing and rotating this image you're going to end up with a simple but attractive flower. Let's try something a little more interesting. This time out I have the drive pin on a 60 tooth gear and the slider pin on a 74 tooth gear. Let's see what sort of basic pattern this gives us. When I first saw this basic pattern, I thought it was going to produce a uh, ring of points similar to the flower we just saw. I'm happy to report I was wrong, because here's what we got. A five-pointed star made out of what looks to be twisted blue ribbon. I really like this one a lot. This is the same basic gear system used for the blue ribbon image. The only difference is, is I've added a pinion gear here so that the main 60 tooth drive gear is now rotating the opposite direction as it was for the blue ribbon image. Let's see what effect this has. At first glance this looks completely different than the fundamental trace for the blue ribbon image. But if you look carefully you can see that in a way it's the same trace just turned inside out. But that doesn't prevent it from producing what I think is an absolutely beautiful final trace. I have one final example for you. This involves the 60 tooth gear here again and this time an 86 tooth gear as the uh, holder for the slider pin. Let's see what this produces. The first time I saw this mess I couldn't believe that it would ever produce an attractive image no matter how long I let the machine grind away on it. Boy was I wrong. This is one of the prides of my collection. At first it looks very similar to the blue ribbon image we saw earlier, and indeed it is, but it has a lot more fine and complex detail than the blue ribbon does. Because drawing machines take so much time to build, you want to get the maximum you can out of every image, and unfortunately many of them end up looking like this, which has a certain attractiveness in its symmetry and uh, precision, but it's not real interesting to look at for more than two seconds. To increase the interest factor of, of simple images like this, I got the idea of varying the brightness of the light so that when the image was first starting to form, the light would be bright and it would slowly dim down. As you can see here, it works really well. Now this is the same gear system used in the previous image. The only difference is, is that I've allowed the batteries to, for the light to run down so that it's slowly dimming as the image is being formed. It produces a very strong, intense three-dimensional effect that greatly increases the image's interest. So, I hope you found this video interesting, and as always, thank you for watching.